Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to present you some Squarespace alternatives that you can use. Now Squarespace in my opinion is one of the best website builders if you want to create a website for presenting your services let's say or let's say that I want to um, sell my services or I want to sell a few products Squarespace is a wonderful tool for it and I honestly believe in it. So let me show you some like alternatives that you can use to Squarespace. The first one is a Shopify. Understandable, Shopify is a, one of the best e-commerce builders that you can use. Now, there are some disadvantages, but plenty of advantages with Shopify. A disadvantage is it's a little bit more expensive, the first disadvantage. The second disadvantage is that they have high fees, uh, additional fees using all payment providers. What does it mean? Is let's say that someone would be buying your product um, not only you have to pay a fee to PayPal or Stripe, you have to pay fee also to Shopify. Addition 2%, 1% and 0.5%. It can really add up and this is how Shopify is making a lot of money. So this is the first one. Uh, the second thing, uh, what I like about Shopify um, is their applications they have. Like their apps, their plugins are top notch. I made plenty of videos with the affiliate marketing with uh, the Shopify and how we can make money on, not money, SMS campaign. Uh, then also with cross-sell, upsell. If you want to build e-commerce store, go with the Shopify. You're not going to make a mistake. And it really does depend. It doesn't matter how many products you're going to have. So that's something that I would recommend for you to do. Now, the next one I prepared for you is a Weebly. Weebly is a younger brother of Squarespace. You can definitely check it out if you want to. Maybe you will find it useful and worth it. So Weebly is something that you can uh, do and use for actually uh, building your service, but I wouldn't use it for creating online store. You won't. You can do it if you want to. You come here to the pricing plans and comparing to Shopify, it's much, much cheaper. See so like 30 euro a month, which is damn cheap. So you can actually do it and for website too, comparing to Shopify is pretty cheap. So if you want to create an online store and also presentation website, Weebly is a good option to score space. The next one I prepared for you is a Wix. Wix is something that maybe you heard about, maybe you know about it. Uh, there are some disadvantages about Wix that I personally see. The one thing that I don't like about Wix is that it's like really free website builder. What does it mean is that you can play around with elements as much as you want. There are more disadvantages in that and advantage and with advantages. Advantage is that if you like to really play around with things, it's perfect for you. If you want to really, really play with every single element on your website, using Wix is a good choice. But disadvantages, you have to always edit it on mobile too. In Squarespace, you just like double check it. Like, okay, on mobile, it looks good. Here in Wix, you need to really optimize it and do the double edits. First thing, second thing is that uh, Google doesn't like websites which are not responsive and it can easily happen that your website on Wix won't be responsive. So I would be really cautious and careful about using Wix and uh, that's something you should be careful about too if you want to use Wix from the SEO perspective and from the responsibility perspective. And if you want to actually write articles, etc., I wouldn't go personally with Wix. Now, to the let's go to the last one that I prepared for you is Elementor. Elementor is an add-on, a plugin for WordPress websites. So if you want to create an amazing website, you can use Elementor. Uh, what I like about it is from the SEO perspective, WordPress is the best choice. So if you want to write plenty of articles, I would go definitely with Elementor. And you're not going to make a mistake there. Now, uh, but there are some advantages and disadvantages too. Advantage is that you can optimize it as much as you want. If you understand HTML, Elementor is a good choice, but you need to install different plugins too. Not only Elementor on your WordPress website, if you want it to work. Sometimes what will happen is that it's more complex because some plugins won't be updated. If the WordPress is going to be updated, you need to go get your own web hosting. So that's another thing that you need to keep in mind. So as you can see, there are some disadvantages and some advantages that you need to take to the consideration. So um, that's pretty much it. And that's what I would like advise to check it out. Elementary got really good pricing and it's pretty cheap. 
for one website $50 a year and you're covered and you can they have plenty of templates they have plenty of themes that you can use and I would definitely recommend checking it out so Elementor another tool that I would another website builder that I would use the next one also what I prepared for you is called Webflow Webflow is really great if you understand uh, Open Designer. If you really understand how to work with HTML, the one thing about Webflow is that the learning curve is much higher comparing to the others. And I would definitely recommend Webflow. They got plenty of um, like tutorials how to do something in it. And it's a good if you understand HTML and if you know how to build a website. But again, if you want to create simple website, Webflow isn't really for you. So let's grab it up and let's summarize this whole video. Now, Squarespace is amazing as it, in its, its top-notch tool that we can use for creating websites. The next one, Shopify. If you want to create e-commerce website with a lot of products and you want to specialize on a marketing with a um, SMS marketing with a like let's say upsells, cross sells, Shopify is great for it. The next one is Weebly. Weebly, the huge advantage of Weebly that it's like really cheap. And uh, if you are on a, that you care about that it's free and you want to build a simple website that you don't ask for much, Weebly is a good options that you can use. The next one, Wix. Now Wix, on the other hand, as I mentioned, I don't really like that you have to uh, like edit here things and uh, it's like freestyle. If you don't care about the SEO, if you're not going to write articles, if you want to really play around with the landing page and have it optimized as much as you want, Wix is a good option for you. But in most cases, I wouldn't recommend anyone to use Wix. Oh, my camera went off. I'm just starting out again. The next one is Elementor. Elementor, I would definitely recommend for everyone who wants to uh, work with WordPress. If you like to, again, play around with things, install plenty of plugins. WordPress has been here for a really long time. And even when you come here and write Elementor, sorry. Elementor, you see that it's getting more and more popular and people are using it. So I would definitely recommend for you to use it too, if you want to. And Elementor is a good choice, but there are some disadvantages with those plugins and the learning curve is a little bit higher too. Now the last one is Webflow. Webflow is a good choice that you can create your own website with and I would recommend for everyone to, if you understand HTML, if you know how to work with HTML, Webflow is a good choice. So thank you very much guys for watching. If you can have any questions, ask me down in the comments and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.